Have you ever eaten whipped cream off of someone? No, it's like the most vanilla kink ever. Imagine if this was a hamster ball and you just- No, let's talk about something sad and depressing. All right, well, it started in 1989. No, no, I meant rooster teeth dying, not all your childhood dreams. I don't know why people willingly get pregnant. I never even want to get to that point and that's why I abstain from sex. I'm, I'm sure it's a choice, yes. I choose to a absolutely a choice sex. of yours. He says, itch me, auntie, itch me, <laughs> itch me, itch me, Sanchi. I had to uh, get baby wipes and then scoop out the poo poo from his butthole today. Why? Because, because, so, okay, so it's raining outside right now, right? Because for some reason, LA just wants to rain 24 seven now, flash floods, yeah. with, you know, global warming, yeah. it's, it's a farce, uh, either yeah. way. Those I come 5G home. 5G towers. It is. And then the vaccines in the arms is what really mm -hmm. activated mm -hmm. it, according to my mother. Mm -hmm. um, but no, so I went to lunch with a friend and I came back and I was like, oh, it's raining. But don't worry. Luckily, I installed a dog door. So if it is raining outside, Thresh, my lovely, smart little boy, can come inside and be safe, right? Wrong. I come home. I see a head poke in from the dog door. From the outside, I hear <laughs> completely fucking soaked dog runs up to me, tries to get love and attention and jump. And I just drag his ass into the shower, shower him. And then I clean his butthole because he had little dingleberries. That's what love is. That's what love is. What is with dogs and being so dumb when it comes to rain? Like Lola refuses to go bathroom in the rain. Or no, uh, actually she hates wet grass so if it has rained recently she will not go in the grass and go poo poo or pee pee we have to like force her to go so how wait how do you force her to go i just drag her there and i'm like go pee pee and then she'll go and then she'll come running back to the house judge not bothered by anything that dog has no fears of anything ever like no traumas no nothing he is easy besides the destructive part but lola you have to like sometimes you have to carry her and then plop her on the grass for her to go oh. Yeah. Oh, she gets scared. Yeah, dumb. I thought you were gonna say that you like squeeze the dog in regular intervals like, in order to try hug to get the, the shit out of her. Come out, right? <laughs> She's like pee, pee. <laughs> but no. Um. Oh yeah, we started the episode. Right. Um, Gina, thank you so much for your Shut service. Shut the fuck up. Thank you so much for Shut your service. Shut the fuck up. Do you know what this woman did for me today? Do you know what I had to go through? Do you know what this woman did for me today? All right, I. A new Apple user, because remember, I was an Android girl, but then I swapped over to Apple because all the iOS shit. Let's lead up to this properly, Ovley. What are we leading up to properly? I was in Anaheim last night because my sister is here for a business trip and I decided to, um, well, she's, I had to go and be there for her for something, but you know, she's in Anaheim for a business trip and I was like, all right, you know what? I'm going to drive over. I'm going to spend the night at your hotel. We're going to have some sister time. Um, and then today as I'm driving about to get into the car, as a, about, I'm about to leave the hotel to go here for the podcast, Ollie suddenly goes, Hey, you know what'd be great? She texts me, you know, you know what'd be great? I'm like, what's up? She goes, if you got me the red velvet cake cheesecake from Cheesecake Factory. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she sends a screenshot of my location because I completely, I always forget that this bitch has my location because I turned it on when we were in Korea last october and i never turned it off and she sends me a screenshot that shows i'm right next to a fucking cheesecake factory and i'm like are you serious i mean to be fair i have not had red velvet cheesecake from the cheesecake factory in a very long time and when i went to check on you because we pushed the podcast back by an hour just to like help with traffic and some of the rain, I'm assuming. So I'm like, oh, I wonder if Gina's okay. Wonder if she started moving yet. And I saw she didn't start moving. But what I also saw next to her little blue dot was a cheesecake factory. So it feels like a no brainer. It feels like a win win situation. I had some cheesecake. You had some cheesecake. The only person who didn't have some cheesecake is producer Ian. Because guess what? It's not your month anymore. It's our oh month. yeah, that's right. I went to EE e. stream and I said, "Dude, it's not our month anymore." And then someone said, "No, Gina, we still got Melanated March." And I was like, "Well, is that a new one?" I guess so. They're yeah. just making crazy shit up. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> so the, the NCAA tournament is in March. So that's what is that like? That's a blank event for sure. Yeah. Is that? Go ahead. Guess. Is that golf. Or 
keep okay. guessing. Do you Basketball think that? And... Do you think how many black people do you know that golf? One very prominent one, and he's that's all they half. need. That's that's all they need, Ovali. He's and he's half Asian. We take that shit and we run him with it too. It's fine. What was it? The Dave Chappelle sketch where it's like the the racial uh, the racial draft, draft the racial draft. You've seen that one of the best sketches. There's no way that you have. It's it's Dave Chappelle, Bill Burr, and then some other probably two old comedians two that I bitches. don't know. Who? Yeah, uh, isn't Paul Mooney in that sketch? I no. Why I, am I asking you? Never mind. I only recognize <laughs> Bill Burr and Dave Chappelle. It's fantastic, yeah. and it's basically people like drafting people to their race. Uh, Most Def is also in that sketch. <laughs> I haven't watched this. I haven't seen it. It's really it. good. Watch it. It's really My good. My favorite black sketch was Keen Peel's the the slave auction. Yeah. That <laughs> shit good. still kills me every time I fucking see it. Oh my god, it's so good. Gina, so what's so what's so good and funny about it? It's Gina? hilarious. Why don't it's, you go ahead and break it's down? It's so good. Like the well, he goes, "Now that's surprising to say that's the least." <laughs> Yeah, I would have bought him first too. Yeah, of course. You know, oh yeah. <laughs> did you see him? The question is, how did they catch him? <laughs> I did not know. <laughs> I did not know that at the beginning of Weird Al's white and nerdy music video, mm-hmm. it's Key and Peel in the car. Oh, I haven't seen it. It's Key and Peel in oh. the car as they pull up. I was too young to know who Key and Peel were because clearly as a child I just knew who Weird Al was. Yeah. Um, but I was rewatching it the other day. Don't ask me why. And they bo- they were both in there. Oh, I so need to see that. So they're in the music video. It's really cute. So uh, speaking of slavery, so I think we'll get this bitch a cake, right? <laughs> now here's the thing: the hotel has a detached carport or car garage, but then the cheese safe factory is on the other corner of the hotel and it's not connected. So and here it's dumping rain. So I go to the front desk. I'm like, hey. What's the quickest and driest way to get to the Cheeks Cake Factory? Should I get in my car and park in the front? They're like, you can't. It's on the street only, and it's just a bus stop. You can't park your car, so you have to walk over. I'm like, okay. The things you do for friendship. So I get out of the hotel, and I walk to the Cheeks Cake Factory at the end of the corner. I'm in Crocs. The first step I take, socks are soaked. I'm like, okay, it's fine. I'm fine. And then I get to the Cheeks Cake Factory, which, by the way, I used to work there when I was 19, so you put me through that hell again. I go in, and it's very crowded because it's a cheesecake factory right next to Disneyland. And then so I'm getting my cake. Don't know where the line starts. And then so I grab my cake and then they're like I was like, so what's the quickest way to get to the cart? I asked them again, like what's the quickest way to get to the garage? Like, oh you just have to go around and I have to walk through the rain through the garden walk. I got soaked. My socks got even more soaked. But the cake was great, though. The cake was fantastic. Cake was good. Thank you so much yeah. for going out of your way, Gina. No worries. I appreciate it. No worries. I really do it's appreciate I love you. it. Thank you. I needed the sugar high because I was getting a little EP. I yeah. Had a little bit of the EPness. A little so EP-ness. I was like, I need some of the sugar mm-hmm. to wake my ass up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I get it. And that's the first time I had that cake in fucking years. It's good. And I looked at the calories. It's 1,500 calories a slice. Well, you only ate like three bites. So yeah. technically that's only like 300 calories, right? That's true. Something like that. I don't know. Math. Whatever. Fuck the math. Did Fuck you em. dip it in the whipped cream? I did. Okay. Well, then that's probably. Surely like that's only extra. like another two calories. What, two max. Yeah. Max. Do your animals like whipped cream? Yes. My dog loves whipped cream. Uh, Lola loves it, but she's very skittish. So when I put the tube to her mouth the first time and I went, <laughs> it scared her. The sound scared her. So she's scared of the sound now. So I just put it in the bowl for her. Have you ever eaten whipped cream off of someone? No, because I feel like that's a very like. I'm white and I love Taylor Swift and this is the kinkiest thing I've ever done because I've seen it in movies. It's like the most vanilla kink ever. So I tried to do it in college. (laughs) What what was the teen movie that had that? Wait, 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 wait. But Gina, so I tried to do it in college. ah! I tried to Don't do touch that in- me while you're talking about sexual things. I tried to do that in college. Um, but the whipped cream was expired. Gross. So as soon as I put it in my mouth, I immediately went. Hah! Hah! I started dry heaving. Here's a question I don't want the answer to, but I'm sure you're going to give me. Where was the whipped cream? Um, On his boobies. 
Well, you know, that's fine. Okay, that's easier. Where else would it be? God bless. It's Varsity just like a Blues. That's the movie I was talking about. Vars- oh. Varsity Blues. It oh. was a, What's a that? bikini made out of whipped cream. That's, I only know that as a song by Murs. I haven't heard of that. I've only also heard of the chocolate, but that seemed messier. I want to do the donuts. Or the fruit roll up? Yeah. Let me just stack a few donuts on there. It makes or, sense. Or the the hamster cage drinker. <gasps> okay, Gina, you have to explain it for the people who have no idea what that is. The hamster bottle. You explain it while I demonstrate. Please don't. The hamster bottle is when, you know, the you sit in the car and you open up the sunroof while your man is laying on top of the car with his through the sunroof and you just hamster bottle like imagine if this was a hamster bottle and you just oh my god i think i got a cramp <laughs> yeah take, ah! youtube is already ah! taking this video down <laughs> so all you boys out there fantasizing about something acrobatic with ovaly <laughs> Bring some Ben Gay. Oh my god! I think I heard her bones crunch. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Gina, I wish there was. I wish this was a bit. I really wish this was a bit. <laughs> it hurts so much. <laughs> this was just from standing on one leg. A challenge. I know. You know what the best part of this is, Gina? One of the bullet points that I wrote down for today was ovulation exercise. <laughs> I regret everything. I regret everything. Um, so before you guys do the hamster bottle, make sure you stretch. Yeah, make sure you stretch. I, <laughs> I don't have to sit like this. I can't unbend it. It actually. <laughs> oh, my God. I have to stop <laughs> performing my own stunts during this podcast. I'll keep doing it. It's great. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Um, but you know, like, I just want to, like, do you really love your girl if you refuse uh, refuse to do the hamster bottle for her, you know? Okay, but, like, here's the question. So, like, with the hamster bottle, though, have you had rodents as pets? Not as pets, but as, like, feed. What? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, no. wait, 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 what? <laughs> as feed what do you mean by feed it's food for the other pets <laughs> what do you what Did do you, you know? mean I, you didn't know i used to have like a fucking six foot long boa constrictor you didn't know this bitch i knew you like to get choked but not like that sometimes you just gotta do it on your own and then you're not strong enough so you gotta get a, a willing <gasps> yeah i would feed it rats why because my baby gotta eat well, he can eat eggs. Let the rodents live. <laughs> I've had I've had six guinea pigs in my lifetime. Oh god, my I've snake would love those. Hamst- oh, my snake would love those too. I might have to kick. You. Did you not <laughs> see the picture of my guinea pig wearing a sweater? When yeah, you no, it was adorable, and I thought that would keep my snake full for like a whole month. Where's your snake now? I had to give it away because I got to a point in my life where I was traveling a lot. Mm -hmm. And so um, I gave him to or I gave her to a friend that had a lot of reptiles. He's one of those like exotic animals people. So he had um, like a big ass lizard of some sort, a um, a prairie dog. I like prairie dogs. Yeah. And then he took in my snake. She was awesome. Her name was Pixel. Did she try to eat the prairie dog? I would hope not. But yeah, one time I fed the snake, um, like I was a, a beginner. Okay, listen, I woke up one day and I was like, I really want a snake because this girl that I, I used to go get dance, this girl brought in a snake. She's like, I snake dance. I'm like, that's fucking cool. She's like, you want to try? I'm like, yeah. So she let me hold a snake while dancing. I'm like, well, this is going to be my new, fa- my new favorite thing now. So, the Britney Spears fantasy. Yeah. So then I went on Craigslist looking for a snake and this guy was like, hey, look, my snake's enclosure broke and my wife and I want to, you know, we want to have kids. So we don't want to spend money on new things. Here's a snake for like 50 bucks. And she's a birthday snake, as in, like, you can take it to kids' birthdays, and she's super sweet. So I met him outside at a parking lot at fucking Petco, brought home a fucking snake. And the first time I fed it, I didn't know you're not supposed to feed them live. Um, I went to the store, got a feeder rat, fed him live, heard the rat scream. That's a 
that's a sound. Um, and then afterwards, I was like, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore because the rats can possibly hurt my snake if you if they bite her. So then I started getting it um, freshly killed rats. As someone who loves rodents, you hurt me. My snake loves rodents too. Shared interest. You're killing me on the inside, Gina. You're I kidding. have a lot of experience with rodents, and so do you, and that's why we're friends. Are you going to eat me one day? I am a year of a snake. <laughs> okay, now it's all coming together because you know what I am? You're not. A rabbit or a rat? I'm a year of the rat. You're lying. I'm the year of the rat. 96. I'm the year of the rat. You're going to eat me. I'm going to eat she has to lie down next to you and be longer than you, though. So That is true. Oh, my God. Okay. That is my, one of my biggest pet peeves when I had a snake. Bitch. Every time I tell someone that I have a, a pet snake, a big one, 98% of the time, someone will always say, oh, my God, you know, my neighbor's cousin's wife, nephew's teacher's ex-husband had a snake. And like one night he woke up and the snake was laying right next to him. And then uh, he thought it was so cute. But it turns out the snake was measuring him up to see if it can eat him. I'm like, yeah, you and like apparently every fucking one else has this story every fucking time. It's the same story? It's, this is yeah. something that everyone says? Yeah, it's just like this they're, fucking... They're cold-blooded. So they lie down next to warm things. Yeah, they just want to oh. get warm. Like, there have been a couple times where my snake has escaped from her tank. Snakes are fucking great at escaping. And, like, I would wake up to her, like, just crawling up and curling up next to me. Or sleeping under my pillow or something trying to get close to me. Because they're, they're cold and I'm warm. But every single person would fucking say that story. I'm like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. It's like the, it's like the story of... What's the craziest names you ever heard? I went to school with a Lemangelo and an Orangelo because their parents liked orange jello and lemon jello. It's like. Wait, what? That's also a common story? Or Absidy. Or Ladasha. Like everyone always tells us. I knew a Sinertia. I'm sorry? I knew a Sinertia. Sinertia? Yeah. That was the name of my friend's mom who ratted me out for watching hentai. Okay, but she was watching real porn, and I was only playing Sex Kid in Thirteen on Newgrounds. So there's how do difference. you guys know? About, like, how do you know she was watching real porn? How she catch you? Oh, we talked about it. All right, well, we were in fourth or fifth grade. Why would she talk to a child about the porn that she's watching? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, the yeah, mother. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your friend. Yeah, okay, yeah, I was yeah, gonna say, friend. what the fuck is this? Okay, got it. Yeah, I don't want to talk to a. So she about read porn. it to your mom that you. Yeah, that she watches bitch. porn. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Fuck her. But you know who else is really? That was a terrible segue. I was trying to. I was. <laughs> I was trying to segue, but my leg is still cramped. <laughs> Professional host, Avli May. Still hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna eat you. This is so perfect. <laughs> I, I love you. What? What are you? If you razz me again, I swear to God, if this is a razz situation, I'm going to kill myself right here. I believe I'm dragon. I'll double check. Oh, sick. Okay, okay. that's sick. Okay, so we got a dragon, a snake, and a rat. But who came in first? Huh? It was the rat. In the Zodiac race. Is it? Yeah, the Zodiac race. Oh! Yeah. The rat rode on the cow's head, uh -huh. and then right at the finish line, the rat jumped off. And one. You little shit. I'm smart. You're a little shit. We're smart. Someone else did it for you and you just like jumped so he couldn't share the glory with you? Yeah. Fuck Cheat that to win. Cow. I'm a year of the tiger, actually. Oh, nice. Cheat to win. Fuck that cow. Um, no, let's talk about something sad and depressing. All right. Well, it started in 1989. I'm born July. Uh, and in the summer of July, it was a Tuesday afternoon. Oh, no, no. I meant... I meant rooster teeth dying, not all your childhood dreams. Oh, I mean, I guess that's just as bad. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So uh, news was announced today that Warner Brothers is officially shutting down rooster teeth after not being able to sell off a lot of their um, IPs and content. Rooster teeth, most famously known for red versus blue back in the early days of the Internet. Also, their uh, animated series like Ruby. Um, and of course they had Funhouse, and they have a lot of the creators that honestly 
the community is known and loved for such a long mm-hmm. time. Fun House, I know, was under Rooster Teeth, and that was the only thing that I was kind of familiar with because I'm a huge fan of Alana Pierce. Uh, Bruce Green was a part of it. We met uh, Tay and no, was it Kay or was it Tay at the uh, Vegas thing that we went to? We've been to so many things I don't remember shit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I mean, we've known, we've met and uh, known a lot of different Rooster Teeth people. Yeah. So it just, it sucks to see yet another media company just absolutely crash and burn. And after what, 20 years? Yeah. Jesus, over two decades. Man, yeah. But again, what's like important to notice, like let's find the pattern is that Warner Brothers picked it up and then shut it down. Mm-hmm. Warner Brothers has been shutting down fucking everything right mm. now. There's the uh, Coyote, uh, Acme Coyote movie that they're like, nope. We're just going to shelve that, even though it's all finished and ready to fucking go. Shelving that. There was a Batman or a Batgirl movie that oh, was yeah. shelved Bat earlier. Girl. Yeah. Batgirl was shelved. Um, and they've just been selling off all sorts of different assets. They were going on like a tirade against cartoons. And I think Cartoon Network, am I right there? Not much left of it. Not much left of Cartoon yeah. Network as well. So, yeah, people were like, oh, we didn't even know that Warner Brothers owned rooster teeth. i didn't know until i woke up this morning and i saw it. yeah yeah it's really sad so it sucks i mean the they, they also bought machinima rest they in also- peace. oh hey mm-hmm. i was a part of machinima is that why i don't have a job anymore rest in peace and, and g4 and g4 rest in peace yeah i can't believe i've been a part of two companies that got shut down two so far two so far, so far. yeah yeah i am on a fucking there's gonna be many more in my wake i know right um oh, but yeah so i mean what sucks is for every single person who was employed by Rooster dude. Teeth. It's been a fucking bloodbath, dude, in the scene. It's so bad. Like, it, I, 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 was, uh, I, I was at an event this past week of, um, it's like an Asian American creators, whatever studio event. I'm and sorry, I did not attend. I was also invited, but I found a really cool game and I stayed home and I played it. She's a self-hating Asian. I am. <laughs> but... Uh, there were a couple of people in the gaming industry. One particularly was a uh, a lawyer in the industry. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, you know, sparked a conversation with him, and I was like, "So, how's it on your side?" He's like, "It's rough. It's really fucking rough right now, man. Like, it's it's. I don't know when this is gonna go away. We were hoping that it was just Q one. It's gonna suck, but I feel like it's gonna last for a little while longer." And he's a entertainment lawyer, or mm-hmm. just a general lawyer? Entertainment lawyer. Entertainment lawyer. Yeah, it's. It's rough. Did you also notice that there was absolutely no marketing for Black History Month? Don't worry. They'll spend it on Women's History Month. I don't think they will. Oh, my God. No wonder. I don't think they will. Absolutely won't. I haven't (laughs) felt supported at all this past month. I Well, I mean, I bring it up because... Maybe, definitely not last year, but in years before, it was always like, hey, we're doing a mm. women's panel. We're doing women's activations. There was usually like makeup brands or sponsorships yeah. that wanted to do things. Um, I remember doing stuff with like Western Digital. I did stuff with um, some sort of beauty cosmetics thing. I did all sorts of different mm-hmm. events. And there was just absolutely nothing last year. And it looks like it's going to be the same this year because the diversity budgets have just absolutely dried up. It's rough out here, dude. This is this is so crazy. I'm, I never thought that I would go through a recession like this. Uh, what? Because the last one was like 07. <laughs> Again, you Again? mean? Again, <laughs> yeah. Back then, I didn't care. I didn't give a shit. I, I just was, had Lunchables. Yeah, I just got out of high school. I don't know what the fuck a recession is, but holy shit, man. This is tough. Some of us were going into the job market. It was pretty sweet. Was that you? Oh, yeah. Oh, my Josh God. Josh, too. It was pretty sweet. <laughs> and that's what I realized. You guys are old. <laughs> How old is Josh? 38. Seasoned. Oh. <laughs> experienced Jeez. sounds like someone took offense to hey, hey, hey. ian what was the war like it'll happen to you too what do you mean it'll One happen day. i'm turning 28 this year you'll in- say i don't i don't understand these kids memes <laughs> i don't understand the music Tell no about I, the I war grandpa skip the toilet when so did I everyone think get a septum cool. piercing <laughs> what's going on <laughs> Septum piercings <laughs> did weird me out. We're Asian, okay? Actually, you're black. You don't fucking age at all either. You're yeah. fine. Yeah, we're good. The, everyone in this room is safe. Unless your German genes start I'm, kicking in. I'm out of scared nowhere. that they will. <laughs> I'm, I'm really scared that they will because I think my white genes are kind of dominant. You know, the German genes. Um, so I, I'm worried that I won't get my Asian bits. But I got the Asian hair. I just need the Asian a, everything else. There's been a trend on TikTok lately of women saying like, how old do you think I am? 
Yo, the white women are getting fucking cooked. Oh, as oh as they should. You it's see a lot so of women bad. who are like, I don't I don't look 35. Bitch, you look 40. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking it's about? It's so bad. Like, I feel bad for them, you know? Like, yeah. Or they'll, they'll post something like, this is the untouched skin of a 34-year-old. And people are like, what the fuck is this? A 34-year-old handbag? What yeah. the fuck? It's it's so bad. I feel so bad for them. It's just like, hey, everyone, please wear your fucking sunscreen. See, I'll, just, you know, I'll say this to black people too, because whenever I say like everyone should wear sunscreen multiple times a day, reapply, a black person always comes into my comments and say, well, no, I'm melanated, so the sun doesn't. Yes, it does. And not only that, it's to protect you from cancer also. So please, for the love of God, get a good sunscreen. None of this American shit, by the way. American sunscreen's dog shit. You got to get the Asian stuff. I play League of Legends. Cancer is unavoidable for me at this point. This is true. But this also, I don't like to put on sunscreen because it makes my face feel icky. So I just don't go outside. Asian sunscreens, baby. I, I've tried Asian sunscreens. I think no, I haven't. I'll get. I'll let you. I'll let you try one that I have with me right now. Okay, yeah. I'm excited for it. Yeah. Um. But yes, death to rooster teeth. Sag. Rest in peace, my dudes. I hope you guys get back on your feet soon. Yeah. Gina. No, I mean I'm not saying that you will because I mean. I can't promise it's going to be soon. Welcome to the club, buds. But Who were the talent that were still at Rooster Teeth? You would know more than I would. I, I, don't, I have no I idea. I legitimately don't. I don't watch anything ever. As soon as Alana Pierce left, that was it mm-hmm. for me. Mm-hmm. Um, Achievement Hunters going away was the last, you know, last straw for a lot of people, unfortunately. I, see, I just didn't even know what that was. I remembered hearing the name before, but then I had just never watched. I think like Rooster Teeth, I think maybe I just missed the Rooster Teeth. I was more on Machinima. I was Sanity Not Included. I fucking loved all of those episodes. I, I, I don't, I never touched Red versus Blue though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So I think maybe that was just a ship that I had missed, but yeah. I do remember a lot of people speaking really fondly of it. A yeah. lot of people have fantastic memories. It's where a lot of people got their start, mm-hmm. so... It, it it is a huge bummer for the industry again to just be hit with another fucking shutdown full-on shutdown that's so crazy yeah we just need to find someone with money and then trick we them gina seduce need them to gina bang billionaires awfully do you know any no do you know any no i i feel like you could do like tens of millions and that'd still be pretty good like tens of millions tens of millionaires Ten, tens of millions rather than billionaires because there's not that many oh, of them that's true and, and they're, they're probably all old and wrinkly. they're almost all old they're almost all married cover your eyes i don't know man hold your breath i don't think that they would be able to hold the donuts up on top of it that's wait, true. wait 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 is jeff bezos's ex-wife still single she got half that money she did she has already given most of it away to charity though hasn't she yeah, but I'm sure she still has a lot more to you spare. You guys are basically a charity. I mean, this is true. We are a charity. Would you like to adopt two little Asian girls? Yeah, right. It look really good on your like you know ato- adopting a couple of foreigners. Yeah, we would look fantastic on your resume. absolutely. Yeah, yes. you're like the new Angelina Jolie. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I think it makes sense. Mm-hmm. We're just you know like these scrappy little dirty children mm-hmm. that need to be rehomed and educated. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that it makes sense. Um, Gina, speaking of things that aren't being watched anymore. I'm waiting. <laughs> I, well, I, I was going to segue to things that I haven't watched. So this past, uh, yesterday on stream, um, I made, I had my stream make a, help me make a list of movies that I've, that I should watch, like mm-hmm. pop culture movies that I should watch. Six pages long, Ovley. Double space? Six, no. Six pages long. Alien? And Aliens are two different fucking movies, apparently. Who do, who the fuck is National Lampoon and why is he going on so many vacations? Who? The the Chevy Chase movies? No. Ed, Ed, Ed Helms did the most recent one. He's Wait, on like so many vacations. He had a Christmas vacation, apparently. A European vacation. I don't know who the fuck this is. Isn't that the guy from, from Community? Community? You would know him from Community. Yeah, yeah, from Community. Groundhog Day also. No idea. Ernest, <gasps> I love Caddy Ernest. Shanks. No idea Not what the fuck that is. Oh my gosh, Ernest does Halloween. Ernest like saves Christmas. Ernest, there's so many. Wait, have you watched Benji? Nope. 
Oh my God, Benji slaps. No, you know Lassie? You know the story about Lassie? Yeah. Fuck Lassie. That bitch got nothing on Benji. Okay. Oh, well, it's a dog. Benji. Okay, oh. so Benji's like this little, he's like a little fluffy. He's like a terrier or something. And he saves the day. I don't re- really remember like what day he saved necessarily, but I do remember that there was this part where Benji and his girlfriend, they had to like climb up these steps. So they had these dogs doing their own stunts. Oh. Anyway, so this is for our Patreon, like where uh, it's our Patreon thing where I catch up on movies that I wasn't allowed to watch when I was a kid because I grew up in a very Vietnamese family. So I miss out on a lot of pop culture movies. Um, I have a lot of questions. Okay. Okay. I, I actually you. do have the list here. If there's, so if there's anything you have specific questions about, we can go through it. Oh, you got the list? Um, Six pages long. Okay. Uh, questions. Um, how is National Lampoon paying for all these vacations? Um, Alien and Aliens are completely different fucking movies, apparently. Very different movies. Uh, I didn't know that there was a Dune back in 1600 fucking whatever. 1984 has, with Mr. Big. No it idea. It has the dude Kyle from, uh, fucking Desperate Housewives in it. Oh, which one? The Who's one husband? who gets handicapped. Oh, I don't remember. Orson. The blonde white hair guy? No, 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 no. Orson. The oh yeah 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 he yeah, gets yeah, yeah. fucking yeah yeah, 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 yeah 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 um also did not know nutty professor was not originally eddie murphy there was an older nutty pr- pr- professor yeah, the white guy no idea yeah. no clue uh i'm learning a lot uh, there's so, i have like eight years straight of movies to watch i saw someone write in our discord that everyone should join by the way that you haven't seen princess bride i have seen that one Oh, thank yeah, that's the one God. where he's like, uh, as, inconceivable. As, as you wish. You yeah, wish. as you wish. Yeah. Okay. And she goes, what? And then she tumbles down after him. Carrie always. That movie fucking slaps. I've seen that one. And then uh, there, there's one movie that I am very concerned about watching because I asked my stream, what is the one movie that has made you guys cry your fucking face off? And everyone said, my whole chat, just everyone said, my girl. Have you guys seen that movie? No, I thought you were going to say All Dogs Go to Heaven. I can't watch that, was that one of anymore. Them. My Girl is definitely a tearjerker. Yeah, so they were sure. like... I'm going to Google it. So many people told me to watch it. They said that's the movie that made them cry. They're like warning me like, bitch, you got to you gotta prepare yourself for this. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, What else? Um, I get a lot of references. So everyone's telling me that I need to watch Star Wars, all the Star Wars, in release order before I watch Starship Troopers. No, you can watch Starship Troopers before you watch Star Wars. There's literally zero fucking significance. Not Star Wars. Tro- uh, it was another parody comedy. Spaceballs. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, Spaceballs. Ludicrous speed. Ah! So I would say you you can watch A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. Then Spaceballs is a power palate cleanser. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that that movie that parody was made before any of the prequels were made. Okay. And Home then, the desert. Can I get some clarification? We ain't found shit. We ain't found shit. <laughs> can I get some clarification? Yes. Which one's the real movie and which one's the parody? And and I don't know the whole title. Don't be a menace to society. While I'm sorry, what the fuck is this? While drinking your juice in the hood. Yeah. Oh my god, it sounds like an isekai. So this is a sh- this is a movie called Don't Be a Mess to Society While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. Right? And then okay, and then they're saying that there's also a parody movie called Don't Be a Menace. So Menace to Society. Okay. Real movie. Okay, Menace to Society. Don't be a menace to South Central while drinking your juice in the hood is a Wayans Brothers movie. Okay. So as soon as you turn it on, you would know that it's a parody. Okay. Because it's got the guys from Scary Movie in it. Okay. So oh. Don't Be a Menace to Society is a movie. Menace to Society. Oh, Menace to Society is a movie. And then Don't Be a Menace to South Central while drinking... Kool-Aid? I'll, now, Ovly. Men- what, what Menace to say? Society Juice. is si- more similar to Boys Obly. in the Hood. Ovly. It's, f- it's not February. Obly. It's not February anymore. Obly. It's not February anymore. Obly. It's not February anymore. It's not February anymore. <laughs> We're all getting canceled. You, the who's we? Are we French, bitch? You said it, not me. We, oui, we, oui, <laughs> mon ami. <laughs> Fuck. Well, okay. I'm glad that you have many movies to catch up on, Gina. Uh, a note to all Patreon people that was supposed to be filmed this week, but we had to push it, so it'll be filmed this sorry. week. Sorry. Yeah, Later I had a family week? emergency. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yes, this week? this week. Okay, cool. So yeah. that should come out probably you, sometime. You got some next good week. ones on here. I'm, I'm surprised to see Akira on this list. 
I, you know what? I did watch. I tried to watch Kira a few times and I fell asleep. So I, really? I, I need to finish it. I'm going to say something blasphemous huh. for anime fans. You shut your I will come over there. If you did not watch Akira early enough, I found it difficult to watch Akira oh. after watching all of the shows, movie, and media right. that was inspired by Akira. Oh. Uh, all of your favorite anime writers saw Akira and yes. were like, this is what I'm going to do with my Absolutely. life. Absolutely. 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 And Kanye West. I would still say that Akira is like one of the pinnacles of anime. Mm-hmm. But I think I just can't. Yeah. I just I, can't watch it. I got to give it a try. I, I got to give it a little The weird. motorcycle slide alone is in so much shit. Oh, no. The motorcycle slide is in fucking everything. It's even in Golden Boy. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Um, what else did I have on there? I it's an adventure re- time. <laughs> it was so oh, funny because like a lot of the movies that were named, I would get random references. Like, is that the movie with this and this? Like, yeah, it's that one. So I'm, I'm excited to start this list. But fuck, man, it's a lot. It is. You know what else it's is a too lot? Much. What's up? Do you know all my friends are getting pregnant? You should wear a condom, I believe. I don't know why people willingly get pregnant. You know what I was thinking the other night? Like yesterday, I was in the hotel. I was having a nice bath. And I thought to myself, somewhere out there right now at this very moment is someone dealing with a screaming child couldn't be me no couldn't be me it's just it's so freaking weird because i never thought that any of my friends were gonna get pregnant or have kids because like i knew them i partied with them i hung out with them and i'm like you could barely take care of yourself how are you gonna take care of an entire child and also we're the same age we're still just teenagers we're teenagers this is a teen pregnancy exactly yeah this we're is fucking weird. We're fucking children. Why are you having a child? That yeah. doesn't make sense. We used to do drugs together. Why are you raising a child? You know, like it's weird. Like since when were we technically all like technically remember how we talked about this? We are allowed to adopt a child right now if we wanted to. That's fucking weird. But we would be limited in our color selection. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so you find out your friends are pregnant and shit? Yeah, I'm finding out that like a shit ton of my friends are just pregnant. They're like, oh yeah, we're expecting. This is how I found out. One of my friends that I used to work with in like the high school scene, the collegiate scene, and like doing all these amateur uh, events and stuff with, sends me a picture. And I'm like, what the fuck is this picture? It's just kind of like this blacked out picture and there's like some little white spots and some blue spots. And I'm like... Is this some new tech that he's working on? Like Production tech? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, what is this? I'm looking at it. And I say, what is that? And he says, do you, do you really not know? I'm like, no, what the fuck is that? He's like, that's a baby. And I went, oh, fuck on purpose. Yeah. Right. Which apparently you're not supposed to say. <laughs> I didn't know that. Apparently you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to ask, what are we going to do about it? I know. Right. Like, um, do you want me to take you to the clinic or what? Like, what? like you're keeping it on purpose? Did you watch the episode of South Park where the little cougar babies learned how to do abortions? No. It's a great episode. <laughs> it's a South Park woodland critter creature. How cute. Woodland critter Christmas, I think. Oh, I want to see that. You should definitely. Yeah. We're here to give birth to the Antichrist. Hooray. Blood orgy. Blood orgy. I'm down for this episode. It's fucking fantastic. Yeah, I can't like. Like, one of my friends gave birth, and then all of a sudden, it's like, yeah, I can't come out. I gotta take care of the baby, and I gotta... Okay. You've known this baby for, like, what, two days? Yeah. You've known me for fucking years, and you're just gonna ditch me for this fucking baby? Exactly. Fuck that baby. Over a child... You know what really gets me, like, frustrated? When people tell me that my fur baby is not as important as their real baby. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you. My fur baby does tricks. Your fur... Or your fucking baby can't even hold its fucking head up what an yeah. idiot what a yeah. dumbass has a soft spot on its yeah right if i push that soft spot right now it's done it's game over yeah fucking nerd stupid my fucking dog stupid i can wrestle with him your baby dead yeah right mm-hmm. just put him in like a quick little headlock mm-hmm. and then boom done. sids yeah babies are dumb i do love them they're really cute but i just i just don't think i think what well, they're cute after a certain amount of months like when they're still in that ugly ass sack of potatoes. I swear to fucking God. Mark my words here. If within the next 12 months, this bitch is pregnant. Never. Don't wish that evil on me. If within the next 12 I'm months, I'm adding this bitch another. Is look. 
Adding I will be what? doing. I will be adding another what. I will be adding doing another what? you Christians a favor. I will be sending another angel to God. Okay. <laughs> you can have him. Take him. Another angel's gain its wings. Take him. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> See, Jane, I never even want to get, <laughs> I never even want to get to that point, And that's why I abstain from sex. Oh yeah. Cause that's, I choose to abstain. I'm, I'm sure it's a choice. Yes. I choose to abstain Absolutely from a choice sex of yours. when, whenever a, a boy or a, a suitor comes close to me and is like, Hey, would you like to hang out or something? I say, no, I'm going home to play League of Legends. Oh yeah. I say it's League of Legends. <laughs> Nature's birth control. Yeah. Just say League of Legends, man. It's League funny. of Legends. I saw that you commented on the video, and I saw it recently also. How League champs sneeze or cough. <laughs> that shit was so funny. It was well, so good. The League of Legends TikTok page really knows what the fuck yeah. is up right now. I love that all like all these professional companies and stuff now, like their PR team or I mean, sorry, their their social team, are just like millennials and Gen Z little shitheads. It's just that, like, you know who really turned the tide. Hmm duolingo duolingo it's it's just duolingo like the fact that they were able excuse to excuse me wendy's would like oh, to have a word wendy's first that's right wendy's. i don't remember wendy's child wendy's. yeah wendy started fucking shit up on social media and it was hilarious like she just talked shit to all the other brands she's so funny jesus no yeah. I, I don't remember that That was definitely early social like early on when social media decided like we're just gonna dick around and see what happens. Wendy's was the innovator, well, the big dog who yeah. was like, well, "Did so, someone hack their account?" Yeah. I'll yeah. say this. I'll say this because I think Ian and I had this conversation at G Four, mm -hmm. where he was saying, "Oh, well, haven't you seen like the Quizno sub commercial mm. with like these weird little animals?" And I'm like, "I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about." And the video that he was talking about was like these two little animals that have like the fake eyes and then the mouths, and then they go like, "We like Quizno subs." What was it, Ian? Uh, it's the We Like the Moon song. But yeah, I'm getting, I'm going to get to the reveal, but what was the name? What What were they saying? We just like Quizno subs? Yeah, it was like, Quizno yeah. subs. We love Quizno was, subs. Yeah, it's, it's hard to do it without the tune. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like, we like we Quizno subs. And he shows it to me and I'm like, you fucking idiot. This is We Like the Moon from rathergood.com, aka the time when I was a fucking elementary student, elementary school student. And it was... Okay, I don't know how to explain it to you, except for it's like these two, they look like wombats, but they sing, we like the moon, and it goes, we like the moon! <laughs> the moon is... <laughs> how cute. It's really high. How cute. It's high up in the sky, I but want... maybe not as high! I think <laughs> if I wasn't in front of the camera anymore, I think what I would like to be paid to do is just to be the shithead behind a brand on their socials i would have so much fun respectfully if i was assigned to a team and they said we need you to choose someone for social media you'd be the last fucking person on my list i remember when g4 gave me like access to take over their twitter one day one of the first things i tweeted was a picture of gojo and kakashi and the third picture was two gas pumps and one gas tank hole that's why G4 isn't around anymore. <laughs> that tweet specifically, like in the paperwork where Comcast is like, guys, we have to cut the budget somewhere. They they open up the G4 folder and it's just a picture of your face in that tweet. And they're like, yeah, no, let's shut, shut it that down. shit down. Shut it down. Shut it down immediately. I think I would do great. I am so much fun on social media. All right. Listen, if Duolingo can call some other random brand a fucking colonizer... I think I'll be fine. I'll oh be my okay. gosh! I mean, I mean, at this point, who isn't a colonizer? Right? Yeah. I think every every uh, all races have done bad, right? At this point in the world, all races have done bad, right? I'm looking you, at Ian. You sound a little desperate there. Uh, <laughs> trying to find someone. Japan to relate, and huh? Germany. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to relate. It's just a little genocide. Everybody's yeah. done it right. Come on. <laughs> it's a little oopsie. Human no. experiments. Yeah. Of, I mean, of course they were still alive. We had to see how much seawater would kill them, you know? But if we didn't do that, would we have discovered seaweed sake? I've told you what seaweed sake is before. Have I? Uh, oh, yes. It, it, I think yeah. it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Asian woman, pubic hair. Yeah. 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 yeah that one. 
necessary evils, I guess. Gina, what's a <laughs> Gina, what's a boodle? Oh. So I had my very first boodle fight this past weekend or this past week. And I've been wanting to participate in a boodle fight since childhood. What do you know what the fuck is a boodle? Because boodle fights require a lot of people and a lot of hands. Is it, and it's messy. Is it are bodily fluids involved? Yeah. Or? Lots of it. It's a Filipino thing. Oh, okay. I grew up in the Bay Area with a lot of Filipinos and I have always wanted to do a boodle fight and my best friend is a uh, my best friend is married to a chef okay. a boodle fight is basically another word for it is a kamayan dinner where on a long ass table you lay out a bunch of banana leaves and you dump a bunch of delicious food on top and you eat with your hands and it's just a little food party and it's fucking fun as shit Aww. yeah it was awesome so my friend's husband is a chef and he made all his filipino filipino food we had our friends over dumped the food all on the table i had pink rubber gloves for everyone it was awesome and we just ate so much food and it was awesome eating with your hands is way more fun than these bitch ass utensils okay like eating with your hands, it's just it's just like it's so much easier to tear meat apart. It's hard to eat with rice, but yeah. I don't like when things are sticky. Gloves. I don't like when things are I'm a cereal napkin wiper. Yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah. know, like every time I touch something, I have to, you know. Need to rub. But gloveys, I'm fucking fist deep, man. Like fucking elbows deep in there. I'm fucking I'm just shoveling food in my face. It's Jesus. fun. Jesus. Don't don't gloves kind of like defeat the purpose if you're putting the gloves in your mouth and then going back to grab stuff? Don't yuck on my yum, Aubrey. I am so sorry. <laughs> right, what, what, what was on the menu we got? We had... Pansa, um, lupias. What are we talking here? We had lechon. We had garlic rice. We had my favorite ever is garagare, which is a like a, a oxtail stew and a peanut sauce with shrimp paste. Um, a shrimp paste sauce called um, baguang, which is my favorite. All the Filipino people out there, I drink baguang. That is my fucking lifeblood. Okay. Um, we had... Um, and then we for dessert we had like turon and we had like this corn uh dessert thing it was fucking awesome and then like my like a couple of my friends were like right before dinner like we're gonna step outside real quick to fart a different gas a different a di- was combusted yeah what is that? and then they came back in and we just fucking went and like we went in it was awesome damn i love filipino food so much speaking yummy. of uh lifeblood or the water of life. The last 24 hours of my life, six of those hours was spent watching both Dune 1 and 2. All right. Why? I feel like there is sand up my fucking butthole right now. Jesus. That's a lot of Dune. Dude, like, it's Josh's, one of Josh's favorite movies. He's like, we have to watch, you have to watch the first one before we watch the second one the next day. We got a matinee. I had to wake up during the day and leave the house during the day to watch this goddamn movie oh. in IMAX. I still have tinnitus. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bro. Like, so the night before, um, I watched Dune 1 um, until 2 in the morning because the, movies have the, to be... The recent one with recent Zendaya? One. Yeah, with Zendaya. Because every fucking movie is six hours long now for some goddamn reason. They need to stop. They need to stop they that, bro. They need to bro. stop. And then the next day, less than 12 hours later or so, we go and watch Dune 2. That's a lot of information to take in. It's a lot of fucking information to take in. Oscar Isaac naked, though. Who? In the first one. Which Who's also, who's he playing? Uh, he's Chalamet's dad, I think. He's what? Uh, he's uh, Timothy Chalamet's father. I oh. Um, what's his name? The, the Atreides dad? Yeah. yeah. Um, N- but naked? being dragged to the fucking dinner table that wearing nothing but a penis sock that wasn't like that's the only thing i remember from that movie i was more about like yo the poison tooth is fucking sick it's sick but you know what else is sick them ass cheeks yeah they were you're talking about baron harkonnen right they were yeah what the, the big Hark- boy in the ooze Ew, oh no. yeah him <laughs> oh god he's fucking gross um okay so here's a couple things um i wish i had the voice so i can command people Oh, yeah. Um. So in the new one, have you guys seen the new one? Okay. Well, Austin Butler plays that bald, pasty dude. Listen, twenty minutes after, for twenty or thirty minutes after the movie, I was the most confused woman in the world 
because I was like, who was that guy? And Josh goes, it's Austin Butler. And I'm like, holy shit. In my head, I'm like, that is the best makeup team ever. What the fuck? How'd they do that? Because I got him confused with Gerard Butler. <laughs> that is different. The first movie without a Scottish accent for Gerard Butler. <laughs> and I, so I said to Josh, I was like, how'd they make him look so young and tiny all of a sudden? I was legitimately mind blown and like shocked and like commending this makeup hair and makeup team. Like, how the fuck did you do that? Josh looks at me confused. I'm like, why are we so, like, why are you confused? So I looked up Austin Butler. I was like, oh, totally different guy. I'm so sorry. I'm so like. <sighs> yeah, he was Elvis recently. Yeah. Um. So, okay. See, this is where yours and my taste is totally different. Okay. Atreides dad, you think is hot? Racism. That pasty fucking bald murderous thick fucking crazy dude. The, with like the Harkonnen's kid. Yeah. All yeah, black yeah. mouth. That's my jam. The spice must I like him a little bit murdery. I like him looking like they can parent me. Yeah, well, you know, that comes from a lot of things. It stems from a lot of things. But yeah, like this dude, a little bit murdery, kind of fucking insane, you mm-hmm. know? Love him. And it was a great movie. But here's the thing. Do things have to be that loud in movie theaters? Oh my God. Like, it The audio is so loud and yet the dialogue is so quiet. Yeah. I need subtitles if I'm to watch that movie. Yeah. Like, and then also I want someone to worship everything that I do and hype me up as much as, um, still, still guard or whatever did in the movie that he does to fucking Timothy Charmander. Maudib! Yeah. I need that kind of support Maudib! in my life. Maudib! Mm-hmm. Like I thought it was a great movie. Is it a movie that I would be like, holy shit, I gotta watch it again. It was mind blowing. Eh. You know? I hated the first movie. Why? Because it's three hours long. Thank you. Nothing happens. Thank you. Maudib. Thank the, you so Again, much. the only thing that I remember from that first fucking movie. Oscar Isaac's Butt ass. cheeks. Great. Neither of you guys mentioned Duncan Idaho at all. Disappointing. Okay. Listen. When I first heard. When I, okay. The movie starts and they're like, we're in this fucking. I kind of have a shit country. Bless and you. then we're off of this. Hey, I'm Paul. This is my buddy, Duncan Idaho. I'm like, what? Yeah, Paul my Duncan. Mom, yeah, my mom, Jessica. I'm like, what the fuck? But I'm the Muad'Dib, but here's my mom, Jessica. I was very confused the last, the first movie. It's like renaming anime characters to have English names. Yeah. Like fucking uh, Sailor Moon was Usagi, and yeah. now it's like, this is Serena. Yeah. Or like, <laughs> like, it's, it's like, it just didn't make sense to me at first. You know, like everyone, everything else had cool names and shit. And then there's Paul. Paul. <laughs> and Duncan Idaho. I will say, though, the one, it's not really a spoiler. Well, it's a tiny, eh, are you guys going to watch it? It's a, well, it's not a tiny. I was hoping for a better fight scene for um, Cable. Josh Brolin. In part two, I was hoping for a better fight scene. It was one of the fight scenes where I was like, oh, shit, it's going to happen. I got up from my seat, elbows on knees, super excited. And then I went, oh, oh all right. There's going to be a third movie. Yeah, there's going to be a third movie. And that's what pissed me off about this fucking second movie. Okay. I finished the like the, the credits roll yeah. out of nowhere. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I've gone through six hours of this. You're going to put me through another three? Yup. Anyways, I watched Dune. That sucks. Yeah. You know what I watched? Oh. Have you seen on TikTok the retelling of historical events via cats? I'm like, just read a book, man. I'm no, no, begging no, 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 you, no. dude. Like, no, just- no, 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 no. Gina, Gina, I can't tell you how fucking amazing it is. So basically, there's an account on TikTok that retells historical events just with like cat emo, like the cat memes. Like, you know, the cat yeah. going like, hey, hey, you, you, like oh, that's yeah. dancing oh, and stuff. Yeah. And then like the angry cat and then yeah. like the sad cat, like don't leave, like meow, meow. So basically, there's this account and it's just telling like historical events through these cats. And I'll tell you something, Gina. If we had this, if this is how I was taught in high school, I may have paid attention a little bit more in history. Yes. Because, like, they, it was something about, like, the Revolutionary War or something. And they they showed, like, the cats dumping tea into the harbor. And then the TikTok ended. And I'm like, well, hold on. I need to know how this ends. 
but they hadn't made a part two yet. I strongly believe that the way that Gen Z or at least millennials or whatever are making like content, like educational content now, it would have helped us so much in school to understand it. There's this one girl on TikTok that girly pops every historical thing. And she's like, all right, besties, I'm going to explain to you how this and this works. And then and she just goes through history like Zeus was really fucking horny one day and then he decides to fuck everyone. And then like everyone's like, no, not really. And then you have these kids. I would love if school was taught like this. Yeah. But instead they're like, OK, read these four chapters and then memorize it. Yeah. It's like, fuck you, yeah. Miss Jessica. Yeah. It's so lame. You got to make it fun. Like drunken history. That shit's fun as shit to watch. You know? Oh, yeah. Drunk history. That's so good. Yeah. Where did it go? You didn't want a, a clean historical rap given to you by your eighth grade history oh teacher? Oh, my God. My, you know, I think my teachers just stopped caring. But that's okay. Because while they're growing old and crusty and single and alone and, you know, regretting the fact that their womb is barren and that they'll never find a man or a woman to love them. I fucking hated my history teacher. I, I was about to say some much worse things, but I stopped right there. Fucking my AP US history teacher. Yeah, I didn't read the book. Fuck you. I was sad. Don't yell at me in the middle of class, bitch. You ever wonder how weird it is that we had to do the Pledge of Allegiance every day? The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Why did we do that? To the Republic of Richard Stans, One Nation under god oh you're not supposed to say under god anymore i don't think we should be doing this at all anymore i remember when i first like first grade of kindergarten or first day of kindergarten they did the like they're like all right everyone stand for a pledge of allegiance and i was like what the fuck is this and some kids already knew how to say it Mm -hmm. and i'm like how do you guys know like is this something you just learn and now that i'm an adult i'm like this is fucking weird why are we having kids pledge their allegiance to a country I mean, I feel like up until like a certain grade, I think that it's like, okay, well, yeah, you do this because this it's like a memorization. Like they taught us to memorize poems because they wanted us to practice speech and all that stuff. I feel like learning it is okay in like a public school setting Mm -hmm. or even like a private school setting. I think it's fine, but I think that it's understanding it. And if you truly feel uncomfortable with it as you get older and you want to opt out, I don't think that there should be punishment in terms of like opting out. Yeah taking the knee during the national anthem or, yeah. or the pledge or, or whatever it was. Because I do remember in like seventh or eighth grade, because I went through to a preschool through eighth grade. Um, they told us, they're like, okay, if you, d- if you don't want to say the pledge of allegiance, you don't have to. Oh, they never told us that. Yeah. So like me and like two other people were like feeling like badasses. So we sat down and we're like, yeah, that's right. We yeah. go pledge. Yeah. I mean, like memorize something else, you know, like it's, it's giving North Korea, you know, well, you know, I feel Where like... Where do you see the original salute? <laughs> we had a salute? Uh, the original salute that went with the Pledge of Allegiance is the Bellamy salute. What's that? Which looks very similar to a German salute. We're not going to talk... We're not going to display that. We... You, you know seen... the one at home. Imagine it. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the pictures of like, hey, churches, you know, when you put your hand out for prayer, can like can we change it a little bit? Because sometimes you, well, they'll put their hands up for prayer like this. Oh. Yeah. My church was always two hands. Oh, okay. So always like super Nazis, hands. like double Nazi. <laughs> I was going to say like Superman, but if that's what Superman's you really like want to go. If you double Nazi, Su- I mean like. That doesn't make sense. Superman flies with fists. He cuts, th- he would cut through the air faster if his hands were out. Don't double Nazi me. Wait. What? Gina. Was it? How does Superman fly? He's got lot, lots of different stances. Okay, he's oh, got okay. lots of different stances. That's weird. Fingers out is like peaceful fly. He 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 rocks oh. the he, he rocks the fits pretty regularly. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. All right. Well, either way, would if Hitler was a nope. All right, and that's where we're gonna end and it. He Everyone, had to fly. thank you, thank you, you all so much for watching another episode of Show Bobas. One Make sure if you want to support forward. the podcast, uh, out. to check out our Patreon. Nazi we fly. have a whole bunch of different it's a bird. tiers. It's a plane. Uh, we have it's physical Hitler. rewards. <laughs> we have postcards, signed Polaroids. Lots of love that we can share. Also access to extra shows. Gina's gonna do her movie this watch. Kid wouldn't have a sauce. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
There's no swastikas present on this. We are going to get banned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Nikki, help! Nikki, cut! (laughs)